Hey Gundam peeps, when a giant robot walks up with an itty bitty waist and some bell bottoms in your face, you get sprung. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, that was corny. Either way, um, I was unboxing that giant thing. Go check my channel if you're into Macross, Robotech, etc. Some Macross people don't like even the word Robotech. It's an abomination of Macross. Um, but it's what we grew up on in the US. We didn't know any better. Don't blame us. We, we had no idea. Okay? We didn't. It, it was like, it's like driving American cars, you know? I, we didn't know the Japanese cars were so much better. Now I drive a Toyota. Um, but yeah, we're on the bed of the F-150. The Lightning, 400 horsepower, hasn't moved in a year. Lovely, great, good. Um, either way, here we have this. This is a little rare. This is a Hyper Hybrid Model Glorious series. MS-09 RS Rick Dom Char Aznable's Customized Type 1. 60 at scale. Yes, this is perfect grade sized and it is a freaking Rickdom. And it is the extra finished version limited edition. Um I've already got a question for everyone. What kind of metallic pearlescent clear coat can I put on God knows there's going to be nubs and they're not going to have the extra finish on them. Uh yeah. You don't get extra finished version nubs on this kit, probably. You just get regular pink plastic nubs. So what do I spray over that to fix um, the nub marks from cutting the extra finished version out of the non-extra finish runners? But either way, let's let's start unboxing this thing. You know, I mean, this thing it, it makes it makes it makes the uh, Perfect Grade Unleashed Granddaddy look pretty small in comparison. We have one box A. We have a uh, dose box B. Oh, look at that. A little shiny, a little metallic. And then we got ah! And seize your mama. Box C. Let's get her back there. Let's go through these in order. And uh, ba boom. Oh, oh my boo. Okay. Well. <laughs> We know what the biggest parts in the universe of like static model kits look like, but these are okay. I'm not gonna rip these open yet, okay? Because it's just these are big. The extra finish is quite nice. I like nice. Yes, very nice. Yeah, yes, nice. Um, they look good. Again, the nubs. I need to know what the heck can I replicate that semi-metallic-y finish with look at the size of the feet bottoms this thing's got sneakers bigger than Shaquille O'Neal man that's impressive and then we got uh some inner frame bits I'm sure man these are some this just feels bigger than a normal uh perfect grade I'll tell you we got some uh clear lenses there for two channel the LED light through and uh we got the the main a helmet lens. Sorry about the glare. I'm not unbagging these bits. Okay? Because, God forbid, my wife loses her job tomorrow. I may have to sell this thing. But, and, uh, what we got here? Okay. I was like, oh no, not polycap. Those are just the finger parts. Man. The autofocus on this camera. Yes, I know. It's amazing. You don't have to keep telling me. Um, whoa! Little, little heat saber thing going on there. Look at the size of the parts for the bazooka. This is going to be one extremely impressive kit. We have some decals. Are these water slides? Oh no, are they regular stickers? They might be just... Yeah... No, I don't know. I think these might be water slide decals. Wow! If they are, that'd be that'd be damn cool. So we're gonna here's here's my little nifty trick here for reboxing automatically. Just flip the parts over into the top, and you're reboxed. Look at that magic. Well, there's A. Here's B. Glorious series. It is quite glorious. Um, we're gonna do our thing there. Here's up. Oh, here's his little his little skirts, his cummerbund, possibly a little knuckle covers. There you go. I'll do that. Some little uh, little joint parts. It looks yeah, mostly a lot of joints there. Um, I do believe there are quite a few screws in this kit. 
Look. Oh, hello. Look at this. It's beautiful. Lucy. Ah, uh, you left your shoes on the floor again. I can't pick them up. Can you get the hand truck? Those are some... What's banging around in here? Okay, just, just a, a stray piece of runner. Nothing to worry about. Everyone be calm. Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This extra finish. It's like a pearlescent metallic clear coat over all these parts. And I'm sure a, a, quite a few of the nubs are going to be out of the way and hidden. But like those right there near the wrist. I mean, right... The, well, the ones on the sides of those feet part might be hidden away a little bit. But like some of these are definitely going to be visible when the thing's built. More, same, same one, same runner again. The A runner, apparently. And then, ah, this bag. This is a lot, a lot of hardware. Lots of screws, lots of nuts, lots of, what the hell? There's tiny little itty bitty gold beads of some form. I don't know what the heck those are for. Man, I usually bumble my way through. Look at this, bare LEDs. Uh, soldering gun required for this kit, guys, FYI. Luckily, we have one, and we know how to use it. Uh, sort of. Yeah, most of No, we're good. We can solder. We can solder in this household. Okay, we've got box B, and the final box. Sometimes best, but maybe not. And what do we got here? We got the, oh, we got the big non-movable butt flap. Right there, we've got some front skirting, some side stuff. Yeah, there we go. Part of the, looks like the part of the head. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. More extra finish. Leg parts, see? Well, see, that's okay. It's gonna cut right there. You know what? This might not be as bad as I thought because these are right on the edge and you probably won't see the other parts so that came out like that so it's gonna go in like that oh man look at those bell bottoms but these these we're going to see we're going to definitely notice the nub marks yeah okay so we need some kind of i just want to touch it up I, it doesn't need to be perfect perfect it just needs to you know uh not suck when it's done most of my stuff comes out not sucky, but, you know, obviously not perfect. And some more pinkish, metallic-y. Those came out like that, and they should go back like something. And then got some information on how to cut and wire the LEDs. Oh, those are little, oh, that's what they, those little tiny beads, those are actual little crimp terminals, the little crimp sleeves to crimp the wires onto the LEDs um, for to keep people from having to uh, solder. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Bandai. I, this is, I mean, yeah, it is Bandai. It is, it is. Um, this instruction manual weighs more than most high-grade kits and some real-grade kits. It is a very, wow. I mean, the manuals for my remote control, to me, a full option. Tanks sometimes aren't that big. But uh, here we go. Okay. And there we are. And here we go. So we're going to... This little piece here... Okay, this blocks things from hitting the inside of this plastic handle. And even to me, it doesn't do this. I'm really impressed that Bandai does this. Because when I'm, like, reboxing uh, to me, a full option tanks... You know, everything always gets caught up on the stupid handle plastic. And look at that. And B is back in. And A is back in. And we are boxed back up. And here's a little look at the side of the box there. And the top of the box. And the back of the box. I should have put this at the beginning of the video, but whatever. There's the other side of the box. We're back at the front, and there's the bottom. Oh my. This has a little weight to it. Oh, man. 
Okay, well, we're on a roll tonight. We've just unboxed about $1,000 in mecha kits. Um, between that monster there and this guy here, uh, that I traded for. I did have to pay for the extra missile set, and I had to pay for the water slide decal set for that giant monster Valkyrie. Um, and those, the, the, just the weapons and the missiles combined, cost uh, almost as much as a perfect great unleashed uh, granddaddy. Yeah. Um, this fella, I actually got at Tate's Comics down near uh, Boca Raton. One of the areas near it. Oh, it wasn't Boynton Beach. I mean, it's Florida. It all seems the same, but it was, I think it was south of Boca. It was, damn, I don't remember. Either way, Tate's Comics. Um, surprisingly, this at Tate's Comics, and they had a 10% off code on their Instagram. This was cheaper than the cheapest one I could find on eBay, and the cheapest one on eBay wasn't the extra finished version. So this was way, 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 way cheaper than anything on eBay. But since I was flying home, and this was too big to fit in the carry-on area, and I was, I was just terrified to check it, I had my mother-in-law ship it up to me, which added to the cost a little bit, but still... Cheapest one in the universe that I could find that I've ever seen or heard of. Other than if you were lucky enough to buy one when they first came out retail. But I basically paid retail. Original retail. Give or take a few dollars. Plus some shipping. Thanks UPS store for ripping off my mother-in-law. Should have been 30 bucks. It was like 80. But either way. There we go. Into the backlog it goes. We're building that next. Not that. I need to know, guys... What kind of pearlescent-y, metallic-y, clear-type coating can I dab on to the nib marks to make it look okay? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, that one, watch that video. There's a giveaway for a real grade in that video. Okay, and please click, click that little... I don't have enough subscribers to be like a real channel, but click the little thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. Click the little bell. Right? So I don't put up a lot of stuff. I'm not going to spam you with new videos every day, five times a day. It's going to be like once a month, twice a month. I'm on a roll. This is my second video for the night. That's it. That's it. I'm getting a drink. It's Saturday night. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to order Mecca White Vallejo paint for that. And it's all sold out everywhere. Shoot me. All right. Well, either way, keep it frosty, guys gals, everybody in between, aliens, Zentradis, <clears throat> Zeons, whatever, colonists, I don't care what you are. I love you, and I'll see you next time. I stole that line from you-know-who.